I'm Jake Dickenbaum, and welcome to Jake's Cut the Nostalgia Show, a podcast for me and my friends talk about nostalgic comments and pop culture from our childhoods. We interview people such as actors, producers, composers, puppeteers, and more. We'll be sharing our favorite memories, talk about behind the scenes moments, and so much more. I'm your host, Jake Dickenbaum, and welcome to this Jake's Cut the Nostalgia Show episode. Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Jake's Happy Nostalgia Show. I'm your host, Jake, and my co-host we have today, Wyatt McCullough and Chris Bixby. How are you guys? We're good. Amazing as always. Mm-hmm. We're really good. Well, yeah. great. well, that's great to hear. Anyway, um, this guest that we have today, it's, it's really a privilege for, we, for getting him on the show because <laughs> there's two things I'm going to say. One, he created four shows. Yeah. Well, you know, all of them, not just those four, you know. We we'll get to talk about Lair. He he wrote um, he created Clarissa explains it all, Bear in the Big Blue House, The Book of Pooh, and The Big World. And mm-hmm. and I love so much of of the shows he amazing. did. He created like especially Pooh and Bear. And yeah, Star- Pooh and the Bear. Big world. Um, yeah, it's a privilege for, for for me for myself, my honest opinion for having it on. And and yeah, no. he, he's here. He's Mitchell Creekman. Mitchell, how are you? It's a privilege for me to be here. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> and he's one of the biggest guests we've had. We've had other people, but you're bigger. Yes, for sure. Yes. It's Mitchell Gosh. Creekman. Yes. Right. But anyway, the first question that we're going to start off is that how you, sorry that you just want to be, you know, being a writer and composer, but more, more notably being a creator. Yeah. How'd you get started with the whole? I'm pretty much unfit for any other work. <laughs> I don't work with well other people, and uh, I I'm just better off if I make something up and then I know the rules. Otherwise, yeah. I'm not so sure how everything works. Yeah. <laughs> and so I had to like, you know, just figure. I always wanted to create things, and you know, whatever. I just kept on trying, and and like I say, I didn't really get other work. I've only been hired. <laughs> four times and I've been fired three of those times. So it's just wow. being a survival mechanism to create things, I think. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. Yeah. So as long as story short of what, of why you decide, you know, for, for, for creating those four shows anyway. Yeah. What do you yeah, mean? Like, how'd you get well, the ideas? Well, and like what makes? Yeah, you know, yeah. Like how, how did those shows come about? about? Yeah. Well, each one, each one has something different, obviously. So, mm-hmm. You know, I actually was in Winnie the Pooh. I was in a competition yeah. with five other producers. I don't know if anybody's ever talked about this, but um, Disney decided they wanted. <clears throat> it was after I had done Bear, and yeah. Disney decided they wanted a quote 3D um, Winnie the Pooh. Mm-hmm. And naturally, people thought of 3D, you know, like animation at the time. Right. But the problem was, it wasn't very that wasn't very rich at the time. That was a long time ago. And so I had this idea of using this, you know, kind of puppetry, Boon Raku yeah. from uh, Asia. And then I thought that at that time, the only virtual sets were really the sets, people forget this, that the TV news was in a virtual set. People gave the news with green screen behind them. And so people were sitting in virtual sets, but they never put puppets in virtual sets. Yeah. So, you know, there were a bunch of ideas and there's another kind of puppetry called um, that's related to Boon Raku called Czech Black Theater, which Czechoslovakia and Black Theater. Never this heard. gets in the weeds a lot. But the bottom line is Topo Gigio was done in that way. If you've ever heard of Topo Gigio, I was no. <laughs> probably our fans. Have. You got to look up Topo Gigio. Anyway, I to so I, I, I put all those ideas together. And I was really competing with uh, five other people who were um, coming up, trying to come up with a, you know, a new version of Winnie the Pooh. So that one was yeah. a little more of a game. It was almost like, okay, let me see if I can come up with something nobody else has. Mm-hmm. And I always liked Winnie the Pooh, and I always thought Winnie the Pooh was even when I did Bear. So let's go to Bear. Even when I did Bear, I've always viewed Winnie the Pooh as the perfect character group because you always know that if Piglet gets upset, how Pooh mm-hmm. is going to react. And if Pooh is worried, then Tigger is going to, you know, act this way. And you always know what everybody's going to do because the characters are so linked together in this perfect way. So mm-hmm. that when I 
uh, went to design Bear, I thought about Winnie the Pooh a lot in terms of how I put together my characters. But anyway, so I'd always liked Winnie the Pooh and I liked the original English or early Disney version more than the creepy kind of uh, Saturday afternoon versions. Many adventures, I take it. Yeah, yeah, a lot of them. Because I grew up with that as well. Yeah, a lot of them were like really goofy and not, they were cartoons. They weren't really. Yeah, they were. Uh, they weren't Winnie the Pooh. Or oh, you even have Snow Bear back there. I can see Snow Bear. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, which has uh, all the characters. So basically, uh, so that was how Winnie the Pooh happened. I was in a competition. Bear, I had been thinking about, I actually thought about the, the house first. I, I, I thought it would be really cool to build a giant house in a studio. <laughs> I had worked on Clarissa in a giant yes. studio and I realized you could build a house inside the studio and be in a real house. It's so crazy, right? And so I first thought about the house and I actually tried to sell it or sort of sold it a couple of times as the big house. And yeah. there was nobody in it really. I hadn't really figured out who was in <laughs> it. And then um, I got to this point at I went to the Hensons. I was working with Henson and I said, you really need to create your own Barney. Yes. Um, he was huge at that time. He I still like, is. Why haven't you guys created your own Barney, you know? And then I set about trying to create, you know, I like Barney up to a point. I mean, Barney, people criticize Barney, but Barney brought a lot of, brought a lot of uh, emotion. Yeah. And Barney power. magic. Yes. Yeah. And I liked, I liked all that and the hugging and, and the songs and stuff. So I created, you know, uh, kind of a Mr. Rogers as a bear. Yeah. And my big insight was that I, I kind of thought, because I had kids at the time, that kids look at people as kind of, adults as kind of big lumbering bears. Like who knows what that bear is going to do today, you know, when you're a little kid. <laughs> right. you know, yeah. The bear might stumble over me. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> um, so that was like one of the key insights. There were a lot more, obviously, because it took a lot to do the show, but Bear and and Pooh and, um, mm -hmm. did I miss one? What did I miss? Uh, uh, Snook and it's Big Big World. Oh, Big Big World. So Big Big World was, of course, after Bear. Yeah. And uh, I had wanted to do, I, I was really thinking about the music initially, because I really wanted to do world music. And, and I also, you know, uh, felt like there was really room for more of these big characters. I think of Bear and Snook as protectors mm -hmm. uh, more than exactly. just, you know, you know, as opposed to my joke used to be, if you were in a fight, would you want to have Big Bird, Elmo, Barney or Bear by your side? You know, you definitely want Bear. Yeah, you definitely want Bear. Bear's going to protect you. Those little guys are going to like freak out, you know? Yeah. So, um, and Snook was another one, you know, and I, I actually tried to build a lion at one point. Oh, for, nice. Yeah, that Tyler Bunch was going to do for um, kind of a sitcom. Uh, but it was another big, giant creature like that. Um, yeah. But that mm -hmm. one never happened. But that's kind of how all those happen. Tyler Bunch is amazing. He's actually been on the previous episodes. And yeah, he's amazing. Same with Brian Woodbury, who you created Book of Pooh with. Oh, yeah. Well, he did all the music on... Mm -hmm. uh, I, I did some of the songs, and some other people did, too. But, but basically, yeah, he Lurie. produced all the music. Peter Lurie is Peter awesome Lurie, as well. No, wait, Peter Lurie is Bear, and yeah, then Brian right. helped a lot on that. And then Brian pretty much did Pooh, and then Andrew Wyatt came in on that, and Lurie... I don't think Lurie was on that at all. And then uh, yeah. Andrew Wyatt yeah. did all of Snook. All of big, big world. Mm -hmm. But Andrew yes. Wyatt wrote a great Winnie the Pooh song. My favorite Winnie the Pooh song is Best Wishes, and Andrew Wyatt wrote that. Yes, one. that is a yes. good one. That is a great one. Nice. What are your What are your thoughts about like uh, it's a big, big world uh, turning fifteen, and next year Bear turns twenty five? How, how How does How do you feel about that? Well, you know, I feel really good about Snook because it's on. You know youtube and you know yeah. probably be on pbs again eventually and uh oh. the bear i feel like damn why isn't bear on disney plus <laughs> exactly it needs to be yeah oh it so i feel i have a little empty spot for you know why isn't bear appreciated and i certainly you know, have Book tried, of was I, on disney plus 
Yeah, it is. Why, why not bear? You know. Well, yeah, big time. You know, I don't really yeah. get that at all. I never. I was totally surprised about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is it yeah. okay? There's lost episodes of Big 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 World out there, and I think GQ or Chris had a question about it. I think I don't think they're lost. I just think there are like a couple episodes that aren't on the YouTube channel. I think. Yeah, yeah. there's a lot of episodes that aren't on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Do you have a song favorite song from those three shows? Like Barry, Book of Pooh, and you know, oh, of each one. World. Well, best um, wishes. Best wishes. All three for, of them. Yeah, yeah best of wishes for Pooh yeah. is my favorite song. What about uh, for Bear? Bear, there's so many great. Because I, I, mean, I know you did the theme song. Not on Bear. Brian Laurie, a uh, Peter uh -huh. Laurie did it. Yeah, I did the theme song on. Yes. Uh, Big Big World. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. I guess my favorite song. I mean, there's so many brilliant songs on Bear. It's really mm -hmm. hard, but um, I mean, the goodbye song is really obviously you can't argue about that one. It's yeah, just, one of my favorite versions of that is actually the all to all good night version. With yeah. All the casting. Mm -hmm. But there's just yes. so many. I mean, even the shadow songs are so great. Yeah, exactly. And, uh, Bear had just, you know, remarkable music. You know, and they really ought to redo that too. That's another. Same as for a big world, you know. I yeah, you know, same as watch, big I, big I know one of my favorites from Bear that you co-wrote with Peter, I think, was "Go to Bed, Sleepyhead." Oh, oh yeah, yes. that's a great one. I'm very proud of that. Well, I'm, I can tell you my favorite songs of the ones I wrote. <laughs> that's easier because <laughs> yeah, I, mean, yeah, I wouldn't I'm... choose mine as the best songs in the entire series. But go. I really loved "No Harm." I wrote "No Harm." Yeah, with and wow. I like "Go to Bed, Sleepyhead." Those mattered a lot to me. Mm -hmm. uh, but other people wrote better songs than those. I or you know more memorable songs. But yeah. I mean, Brian wrote some songs <laughs> that we all just like. We're like, oh my god, that's so perfect. Yeah, yeah. right. So yeah, he did amazing. A of, there's a lot. There's just a ton of music. Yeah, yeah, what, what, yeah. What about for Big Big World? Big Big World. Um, let's see. Well, I like the theme song at the end that I yes. did. Yes. But yeah, of uh, course. And that, but of course, you know, if you ever heard. Andrew Wyatt's demo is just gorgeous. Um, I'm trying to think of, uh, is there, oh, you know, again, Andrew Wyatt. So yeah. um, I'll take care of you when Bob sings, I'll take care of you. Yeah. Uh, about, uh, he's babysitting Riona in the, in one of the last seven episodes. Oh, and yeah. Bob sings this beautiful, I'll take care of you. There's one, I like it when Ick sings, uh, the rap song is kind of a Jay Z uh, King of the Pond, King of the Pond. Mm -hmm. um, wow, mm -hmm. there's just so many. Um, I like that uh, uh, we're a family, which is another yes. song. Um, they're just good song. They're just a lot of songs, you know. Curve, is, of, is. Cur Curve of the world's probably. Oh I yeah, the world is amazing. I, I wrote that. Yeah. I wrote that. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh great <laughs> job on that. And, and uh, try, try to touch the sky is another good you one. Just go tell yeah. You just got to. You wrote every song. Yeah. They're like, yeah, yeah you really wrote every song. Ones. I know you did. <laughs> no, I didn't write every song, but I did write those two. Yes, those are that's cool. Ones. I finally yeah. got. I got better. You know, I got. Here's a story. I don't know if you guys know this. I got given a guitar. Yeah. Uh, oh, wow. By a fan in during Bear. Oh, I didn't know this. Yeah, this guy had a kid and um, they watched Bear all the time. And he wrote yeah. and said that he wanted to give me a guitar. And I said, well, that's not, you don't have to give me a guitar. Guitar is hard to, you know, you don't have to, he's going to make me a guitar. I said, making a guitar, wow. you can, don't worry about that. But he said, no, I can. I'm the head of even his guitars. I can make one. So wow. he gave me his guitar and it was so beautiful. It has a logo, a bear in the head yeah. of it. In late, in oh, late. Wow. nice. And it was beautiful, and it made me want to write songs more. So I started writing more and more songs, more and more songs. Then I asked him because I thought Bear was coming back, and it didn't. But I asked him, you know, how his kid was because you know he had this great kid that he cared right. so much. He made a guitar, right? So it turned out the first word, the kid didn't say a word for seven years. Oh yeah! And, wow. And, yeah, and he wow. and the first word was was Bear. Exactly. Exactly. The first word was bear. And that was really amazing, you know, and he <laughs> told everything that happened in the world around through bear and what bear did and stuff. So it was pretty moving. That, yeah. really it that kind of reminds me, and I know Jake and Chris know, but there was a 
talking about Barney, there was a hospital visit Carrie Stinson did, a guy who did Barney, which I know you worked with as well. Yeah. And uh, the girl wouldn't talk out for I don't know how long. She saw for, Barney for two, she talked. For two years. Two years. Yeah. No, it's amazing. Anyway, sure you know, I'm is. doing a new show. I'm working on a new show. I can't say the, the name of it or the details or the network yet. But I'm doing right. a new show that's specifically for neurodiversity, meaning oh, specifically wow. uh, designed to do that kind of thing, which, you know, my shows did anyway, right? Yeah. I didn't mm -hmm. have to right. try it. They just did that. But specifically to uh, reach out to people of, you know, different backgrounds and orientations and neurodiversity, you know. So yeah. we'll see how that goes. I'm excited about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Can't wait to see it. Yeah. Um. So, what's your experience for writing for the Nickelodeon show Rugrats? And also, Doug. Those things. Oh, yeah. So, I was a story. I was in development and story editing, which means that uh, Jim Jenkins, who created Doug, and yeah. uh, you know the Klasky Chupo, who developed, who and yeah. Paul German. They're still around. Created. Yeah, and those especially Paul Germain created, you know, um, uh, Rugrats yeah. and Ren and is Chris Velucci. So I was sort of, while I was doing Clarissa Explains It All, I also mm -hmm. was working with them on the animation because I had written some animation and I was yeah. just helping to develop it. And I didn't really write episodes, but I was an editor. I helped develop it and define it mm -hmm. and edit it. But it was really created by those creators. They're, those are the ones that did it, you know, and I, help shape it is all i did that's really? awesome and regrets is still around to this day came yeah out. i mean i mean yeah. bible series recently mm -hmm. and it's actually not that yeah. bad mm -hmm. yeah now um i know you I also you also co-wrote um yes the adventures of elmo and grouchland with right, joey right, Mazzarino. Right. What, what, what was, was that, that like what, what was i grew that up like? with that video well, I created the original story. That was my story. And that was another yeah. one of these competition things that were like five writers and four of them were at Sesame Street. <laughs> I wasn't. Yeah. Right. I, I like those. I like it when I'm in competition for a writing gig. It's sort of fun. Yeah. And um, so I came up with a storyline of Elmo and Grouchland. Yeah. And which was basically, you know, he loses his blanket and has to go yeah, get yeah. it and yeah. stuff. And That's then the they hired like, this is a real showbiz story. They hired five other writers to rewrite my stuff. And wow. So like, I think it was for three wow. years. They took it away from me and they had one by one different writers write it. And then they came back to me after three years and um, said, you know, it doesn't quite have the thing it had before. Could you put everything back in? So then I restarted rewriting it, putting everything back in. And while I was writing it, they asked for um, uh, the disc in those days that I was writing it on, yeah. you know, floppy disc. Right. And they gave it to Joey mm -hmm. Mazzarino. And Joey's a friend of mine, and we know each other. Wow. He's still well. born to this day. And we're, yep. and we're, you know, good friends and everything. And we obviously talk. So I knew that they gave my script to Joey without telling me. You know, mm -hmm. what the fuck? and then Joey came in and he did a bunch of stuff to it, but you know, it was still my story and, mm -hmm. and my script. So we shared credit. He is one of those guests we we'll try or try to get on. Yeah. And, you know, and, yeah, and he's he wonderful. He wrote so many wonderful things. For oh Sesame yeah. He's, written tons yeah. Of stuff. he's a puppeteer too. Yeah. yeah right. he's he's also also now. You yeah, know, he, also he was the original, he was the original, uh, Pip. Oh no. He was the original Tutter. Yeah, he was the in the pilot. Oh, wait, I was, didn't know. oh my gosh! Yeah, yeah, oh, wow. that's amazing. And he also awesome. and he also puppeteer and voice Murray. Once yeah, on Sesame Street. Yeah, Lightning, which I know Chris knows about. Yeah, on Almost Saves Christmas. Yeah. Ooh. So, yeah. um, another thing I uh, wanted to talk about is I saw somewhere online that Bear originally was going to do a movie. Yeah. What What was What was that all about? Like, I wrote the movie, and there's actually a recording of the cast um, uh, doing a read-through, which I'm hoping to find, because I think it would be amazing to hear. Uh, yeah, I wrote a movie. It's a great movie. They should do it tomorrow and, and put it on Disney+. <laughs> Plus. You know? yeah, hey, hey, hey. Uh, yeah, like, that would be awesome. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's and a, another I character was Breakfast with Bear, which is amazing as well. It's a classic Muppet storyline. It's like how Bear met Tutter, and then they met Pip and Pop, and then oh how they- Oh my gosh, that would be an amazing right. movie. Oh my perfect, gosh. right? It was perfect. And, and he meets Tutter, I think he meets Tutter on a golf course. I'm trying to remember <laughs> how it happened. And Tutter's in the hole. And yep. uh, But my one of my favorite things in the movie is that Bear is living in New York City. Right. Yeah. It starts with him living in New York City. And he's so big, he lives in a tiny, tiny apartment, walk up apartment in the Lower East Side. So he has to like fit into all these doorways. And oh my I, God. I wow. Ooh. It'd be fun. Yeah. <laughs> I can imagine that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And yes. Breakfast with Bear was also an amazing show. Yes. Yeah. There was an, a, an idea before that that I didn't get to do that was to take Bear out. That's why I did on Snook. I did him on the road, snuck yeah. on the road, because I had always wanted to do that. Ooh, yeah. that, that's, that's, that's cool. Crazy. Yeah, that's, and, and that's a segment you know, for, for the second season of Big Big World. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That, and also, it'll be cool in the future as a Big World YouTube channel will have, like, have like more episodes like, on, onto, onto the channel since there's, there's yeah. something that's not on there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I definitely, we definitely want more episodes on the channel, but there might be other opportunities for, um, like, for instance, I know some of the episodes are on Sensical. Yeah. Or they're supposed to be. I haven't seen them on Sensical. Oh. They're supposed to be on Sensical. Yeah. And then I think I'm they're going to be somewhere else eventually. Um, yeah. Hope so. so we'll see. Yeah. Yeah, well, I, 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 yeah. I think you mentioned something a little bit earlier about uh, something about, um, it coming back to PBS or something? Well, it might. I think it might come back to PBS. I think nice. Oh, that would be awesome. Gosh, that'd be so amazing. Like, we what, know I'm you did it. New generation of kids yeah. will, be, will be will like for seeing. We know you did it, but we've only seen bits and pieces of it. It'd be cool to see the full unaired bear pilot. Ooh. Oh, the bear we've seen pilot. clips of it. We've seen photos. Yeah, well, yeah, we see, we've seen photos of it on the Muppet Wiki. Uh, well, you know, it was yeah. just basically the water episode. Yeah. Water yeah. everywhere. Yeah. And then, and, and, and Tutter didn't have like, Tutter's arms were just floppy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I did say this. I got to give respect to And I think Tutter at the thought. time was just called Mouse. Mouse. Yeah. 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 Pip Pop yeah. yeah. Either Pip or Pop had like a different. Oh, they were, too. they were Pummel. They were Pop and Pummel or something yeah. and Pummel. Yeah. 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 I know mm -hmm. the first episode, like it has, they have the different, like, like nose color, but in the second episode, they changed to like different oh, really? color. And then, yeah. then, and then they have the same yeah. color for the rest of the show. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know that. We were talking about Bear, and I know there's one thing that Jakey has that I think he wants to ask about. Jakey, you should show it. Hmm. Well, okay. The one thing that you did, and we mentioned Barney. Boom. The We Are Family video. Yeah, the We Are Family um, DVD cover. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm copying. Was what was it like um, working with Carrie Stinson on that, or did you work with him? Because I know well, you no, did no. that. Well, the thing was, that was after 9-11, right? Yeah. And yeah. so uh, we actually, there were three of us. There was Chris Surf and Niall Rogers, the famous yeah. musician. Yeah, most of it was Chris Surf, to be honest. He, but he worked on Sesame Street, and he was between the lions. Yeah. Right. right. And, and so me, Chris and Niall got together saying, wouldn't it be good if we could get all the characters across every show to be that together? That is an amazing idea. It yeah. is. It, we, should, I mean, we should have more of those. Yeah, yeah, and we were amazed <laughs> that we did it. It's, it's it you look back now and you think, oh my God, how do they possibly do that? It seems like impossible. I know, right? <laughs> we did have, you know, we did have situations where Barney came to visit, not Barney, but Big Bird came to visit Bear. Yeah, visit Bear, yeah, Bear, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Because we they the were filmed studio. in the same, yeah, they were yeah. filmed in the same studio for a while. And that was fun. I liked that a lot. Yeah, same as yeah. for Out of the Box, too. Yeah, oh my gosh, Out of the Box is amazing. Yeah. It's on Disney Plus as well. Yeah, and Bear, Bear was actually was, was actually on the Out of the Box set, too. And that's awesome. Oh, with, Toby, I haven't with, with seen Tony that. and Vivian. Oh, okay. I haven't seen that shot. Yeah. And he was also on... Uh, like light like, TV shows like Regis and Kelly and all that. Yeah, he got around. He was a square in Hollywood Squares. He was uh Yes, he, I remember seeing him on Hollywood. He was great live. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Tom Bargeron's right. amazing. Yep. And I know there, uh oh go ahead, Jake. All right. So so there's there's two things I want to say this about regards to the world. Like, I'm gonna say this. Like 
I don't know why, like, but, okay, so it's a story of why I, like, I even decide about making Biblical World mom moments in Star, which I, we, we talk about a lot of the Biblical World here. Um, there's nothing really, nothing regard, there's nothing, like, in, there's there's no, like, Instagram accounts of regards to this Biblical World, and I just, like, remind myself, you know, hope, like, you know, get more attention, more attention mm -hmm. of what the show, what the, what the show is, shows more about and everything right. and everything so i just basically made in me an so instant account for that and and it's over yeah. 50 followers and, mm -hmm. and I, I just more you know, to it because you know I mean, this show is so amazing that i want mm -hmm. you know more get more attention to what the show hey, was. yeah you know and there's also a um i did a, a earth day special yeah that put on youtube mm -hmm. at one time and um yeah, I agree. You know, I think uh, it, uh, you know, it just it, it just didn't get as much play as it should. And and I don't know, all, that Instagram account you asked me about, I can get in it because I must have set it up, but I don't know how I set it up. I yeah. don't know how I can get you in it because I'd be glad to get you in it. But I don't know. There's only there aren't that many pictures, but there is some stuff in there. Um, I don't mm -hmm. know how to get I don't know how to crack that. Maybe I have to. I'll try to, I'll keep trying to figure it out. I tried right. though, so you know. You do that. Mm -hmm. And what's cool. the other thing, Jakey? And I know there was, like, back in November 2005, there is actually, like, a PBS Kids special that got to Pivot World where it's called Pivot Friend Day, where it's basically a show, like, it, it introduced, it's a right. World. You know, back then, it was, like, a new show that's coming up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that was cool. That was very yeah. cool. Well, we were we were like the most popular show on PBS at the time, and we were like, yeah. what? Well, that's team. amazing. Wow. Yeah, and it was oh like gosh. they were totally behind us, and you know, it was a new technology, and right, and yeah. it, you know, everything was in in high definition. That was the first kids show in high definition, and no, we really were swinging for the fences. And they actually ordered more episodes, and the recession hit, and a whole bunch of things happened. Yeah. Hey, you know, wow. Okay. It was, it was I'm dying to know. Start. Do you have any contact to anybody from Bear? Because there's one guy that I've been wanting on this podcast, Jim Karupa. He's amazing. Yeah. And he Jim doesn't Karupa's have any, any contact guess. information, or else we get him. Yeah. You know, I don't know why that is. Krupa, you know, yeah. was like everyone joked about him being the fifth Beatle. You know, he yeah. was like he's amazing. <laughs> He was the utility guy. He made everything work better mm -hmm. and made everybody's puppets work better. And he yeah. did his own characters and he was a puppet builder. I just don't know if he's, right. I, I just not in touch with him. So I don't, I can't really speak for him. I don't know. Why. Yeah. And he also did Gal Gal Island, which is amazing. Yeah. And I, but I, I agree with one thing that you're saying is that he deserves more attention for sure. Yeah. Yes. No, but beside him, I know you don't talk to him. Do you still connect with anybody from Bear? Oh, Bear, uh, who do I connect at these days? Bear, I don't connect with that many people right now. Uh, yeah. I'm just trying to think. Um, Steve you know, Charming I mean, or something. I, I just don't have a reason to because I'm not doing yeah. puppets. You don't have other stuff. Yeah. It, it, it makes yeah. sense. It makes sense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, is there any things that that you can sh that you can show that guards of um Bear and the world and the merch basically any merchandise or or stuff so. anything have, you have like, from example, those four shows, I, but. Oh yeah, or or example the guitar that that you mentioned earlier. Oh, I can show you the guitar. Let me go get the guitar. Give me one second, I'll get the guitar. Okay. Right. Yeah. No worries. No worries. Completely forgot oh, about I got that. Two things to show you. Oh wow. Okay. Right. Okay. I got two things to show you. One thing to show you is an authentic. Oh my. Oh my God. That's awesome. Oh my. That's that is God. awesome. Oh man. That's a, that's awesome. That's awesome. No, this that's was like, crazy. That's awesome. You know, we, it, was in, it was digital, but the, some of them were real. And this is mm -hmm. obviously a real one. Wow. And then, then the guitar. And then this is the guitar. I just want to, I mean, the guitar is just, you know, a beautiful. Oh, that's awesome. Guitar. Oh, right. well, that's, 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 that's great. That's cool. What I want to see awesome. is, can <laughs> you see? Can you see right here? I don't know. Oh, yeah, oh I see it. Yeah, yeah that's awesome. Great. It's the very logo, yeah. yeah. It's the very logo. Oh, yeah. That's I see awesome. it. That's, awesome. that's, it, it, that's cool. It oh wasn't brought up yet, but we know Chris went to see Bear Live. I did oh, yeah. when I was little. Yes, yeah. yeah, so I went to see Bear Live. Yeah, Bear Live was great. Mm -hmm. And then there was a trap. I mean, the traveling one or the Disney one? The uh, uh, there was a surprise I think, party. 
Yeah, I think it was that surprise party tour. It wasn't the oh, same exact sure. show, but the one that was seen that on one. video. Uh, oh, wow. It's <laughs> awesome. Wow. <laughs> that's wow. That's yeah. awesome. I did not know that. That, awesome. that is awesome. Awesome. Um, so, do you have any advice for people who want who to get, want into, get into, into being a creator or writing or composing? Yeah, you know, I mean, it's a different problem than it used to be because it was before, you know, you could say, well, just make your own thing and then figure out how to get it on. Now there's so many things, you know, right. and there's so many ways to get it on. I think it's still the same, which is that you have to, you know, you have to make something. And, and I just kept on making things, you know, like whenever right. something didn't work, I went over somewhere else and tried to make something else. I'm always trying to make, make things. I don't know. It's just, it's really uh, hard. I mean, it, it, you keep trying and keep trying and things, you know, don't work. But after a while, you get good at doing that and yeah. keep making mm -hmm. things. And you have to be happy about your own work, for sure. And, you know, and believe in your ideas, because I really think, I think if you have an idea, it's a good idea. And it's just about figuring out how to make it happen. Mm -hmm. I don't think you should be negative about your ideas. And um, so, you know, I just, it's hard to, it's hard to say for sure if there's a sure path to anything anymore. It's everything's so upside down. Mm. But um, there you, go. you do have all the tools. I mean, that's what's new is that you have all these tools and you have an amazing dog back there who's about to lie Thank down. you. <laughs> um, you have... Uh, you know, you have the tools on your computer and everything. It's just, I don't know. It's, it's just, a, it's, it's, uh, it's almost like there's too much stuff out there now. Right. Uh, but I'm yeah. not a judge because I, I don't live. I just wrote a, I just wrote something where I, I said, you know, I think, uh, I think I would live in the past if I could, <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> because I don't know exactly how to make things work always now, but you know, I'm still working and I'm still you know, creating things. I sometimes awesome. go to bed. I was thinking about this. I have this crazy movie I'm writing called, it's a zombie nutcracker suite. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> no, wow. nutcracker suite. And it's like zombies take over the nutcracker suite. Anyway, <laughs> it's so anyway. fun to me. I sometimes I have trouble going to sleep. Yeah. But if I try to remember what I wrote in this movie, it's not done yet. Nobody's making it. It's going nowhere. Yeah. But if I think, oh, it opens with this scene and then this happens and this happens and I always fall asleep <laughs> before I get past the first three scenes. And I know that's so irrelevant to what we're talking about, but it's just that it's so satisfying to me that I created something that makes me fall asleep. <laughs> I don't yeah. Know. Yeah. I, I, trust me. <laughs> yeah. So that's how much I like creating things that I can even put myself to sleep thinking about mm -hmm. it. Nice. And also, I forgot to mention this, but... The, this year is also the 20th anniversary of the Book of Pooh, too. Yeah, really? I know it's that's right. Yes, for, for wow, for how you know long that? too. See my wow. bear. And, yeah. And yeah, I didn't know that. <laughs> is there anything you want to say to the bear and big, big world and Book of Pooh fans? Well, I just grateful, you know, because I made it for people, yeah, like like you guys to watch, yeah. And mm -hmm. I, you know, I always feel utterly grateful to anybody that watched my show and decided it was good mm -hmm. and, and found yeah. something important in it. And they're like my, you know, most valuable, yeah. valuable relationships, you know. Mm -hmm. It'd be cool for Bear to come back. Oh, oh it's, yes. You know, we come up with so many great ideas and it seems so yeah. close a couple of times and then... And I, I just doesn't make any sense. I know some people like let's talk, yeah. let's talk about having Bear by. That's, 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 and, look, Bear yeah, and Snook, that... they're amazing characters. Bear and Snook have that have that same like, we, we, Bear and Snook have that same personality relationship. I feel like oh. they're great together if they can match yeah. each other. I almost forgot. Great speaking collab. speaking of things coming back, I did want to briefly mention there were rumors about like a uh, Clarissa reboot that was going to happen. Yeah. Well, yeah, I think it might happen. We'll see. I, I think it's always getting closer. I know it seems disappointing it hasn't happened already, but I think it yeah. can happen. 
Well, yeah. well, COVID, of course, has definitely yeah, but stopped yeah, a lot of things awesome. from happening. Yeah, so. but time can tell. Hopefully, no, it's really, yes. hopefully yeah. they bring back the original set that you guys bring back the original set because it was also <laughs> filmed where Gaga Ga Island was filmed. Oh, yeah, wow. yeah. I actually did not definitely. know that. Wow. No, no, you knew it was the same set, Chris. Jana mentioned it. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Since was going That's awesome. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> since so since we are about to wrap up, um, if people want to contact you or find you, or can people find you? Well, the best thing is the uh, Instagram and Twitter and you know that kind of stuff is you know I'm pretty open in those yeah. areas and uh, and uh, if there's if you know if you get a question to me somehow I always try to answer it. There you go. Mm. All right, cool. Awesome. And there's no worries. The the information, their social media will be in the description. Yeah. Well, yep. Would you Would you come back? If we had guests that come back. Would you come back? Oh, of course. Show? Yeah. yeah. Definitely. We'll get you yeah, and some be, other bear person. Awesome. Yeah. Maybe Peter wins. We were trying to get. Yeah. Yeah. We get Peter. Who knows? Who get him to Tutter because I know he can still do it. Oh yeah. yeah. Same as for some, up, oh yeah, I forgot to mention this, but but, but I think Peter Lance can, can probably can. Voices. I feel like Peter Lance can still do Snook Boys because because back in 2015, so. Rihanna and and Snook well, was was on was uh Santa Barbaria for. Santa Barbaria. For, um, yeah. I think also because Snook is very much Peter's like mostly Peter's regular voice. That's right. That was the idea for Peter to use his regular voice, just like Bear is kind of Noel's regular voice. Yeah, and Noel's and for, amazing. Uh, yeah. Oko and Theo, they have the same voices. I feel yeah. like producers like want oh, yeah, to have yeah. the same voice. Same as for same as for Rihanna because mm-hmm. because Trilo and Rihanna has, has kind of that same like yeah. voice. Yeah. Okay. I don't, I don't know the producers wanted yeah. to have that kind of same voice, but I know after Bear and like it was like there was a the company that that was a witch, that's Shadow Projects. It was like it was a witch, it was changed to Shadow Maiden. Or something like that for Ocean yeah. or something like that for a Pivot World. I have another question. I just thought of it. I feel like to end this <laughs> interview, we have to ask, what was it like working with Lynn, Lynn Thigpen, who we all miss very much? Oh, well, she was, you know, the queen, you know. Yeah. She was she's amazing. Very extraordinarily professional. Love she yeah, was yeah and she's also the chief. She was also the chief on Work in the World's Car in San Diego. Yeah. And that stuff. I, I know. I think Noah was the one that just made, made her again the show, I think. Or recommend her for getting the show. I don't know. I know that I definitely uh, sat through her audition and said she's the one. So, mm-hmm. yeah. oh yeah. Luna anyway, is such, that's awesome. You Luna is such a calming character. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or, or yeah, yeah. a very calming moon for sh- for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Perfect way to wrap heard. up an episode yeah. of the show. Yeah, they All keep right, I think you should play goodbye, goodbye from Bear for the end of the show or something. Uh, <laughs> that would be I, awesome. I, I, yes. No, wait, wait, wait. You're lucky he doesn't make you sing it. Last guest he's made sing. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, you don't want to hear me sing. Yeah. But, no, uh, you know we do. You know we do. You play the guitar and Jake sings. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for inviting me and for watching my they, shows. Yeah, you're thank you for. Oh coming. yes, they were all a huge part of our lives. Yeah, 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 oh, it still is. Yep. All know, right, guys. Three little fellows. But anyways. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate the support and everything that I always say every single show. And at this moment, we're actually very close to 100 subscribers. So I really yeah, appreciate the support and everything. And I um, hope you enjoy, as always. And can't wait for what you guys see what next episode's coming. And, and stick around for more. And see y'all for more for the next episode. But Bye. until then, goodbye for now. Goodbye. Yeah. Bye. See you next time on another episode of Jake's Happiness Talk Show. Be sure to follow us on social media. Be sure not to wherever you find your favorite podcasts. Bye-bye.